All right, let's talk about mediums. This is one of my favorite parts of oil painting because you can take any of these mediums and change the texture and drying time of any paint that you choose. So what I have here are three different main categories. We have the texture, the quick dry mediums, slow dry mediums, and pretty much just the normal mediums. Over here, we have refined linseed oil, cold pressed linseed oil. All those are what is already in your paint. Part of oil paint is a binder and pigment, and generally the binder is just linseed oil or safflower oil. So by adding any of the linseeds, you're just extending your paint. You're not changing anything about it. So that's good if you want to keep the drawing time about two weeks, depending on the color. Um, if you want to speed up the process, you can use something like Liquin or Galkid. Galkid's really glossy, a little bit tackier. Um, Liquin's kind of a satin finish. There's also Sennelier's flow, um, Fluid and Dry. They also have a Flow and Dry. And all of those you just mix in with your paints. The more you mix with it, the thinner your paint's going to get, but your painting will be dry by the next day. There's also some stuff like Japan Shire that you have to be really careful with. You don't want to use nearly as much as you would with something like Galkit or Liquin. You just use a tiny little drop. If you use any more than that, your paint's going to crack. It's definitely not something that you use for glazing. Now, we also have walnut oil from M. Graham. They have an Alkid, which is a quick dryer, but both of them are the only mediums out there that don't yellow your paint. They're also pretty natural. They don't smell, they're not toxic. So if you have trouble with the toxicity of oils, this is a good thing to get. They also have a whole line of paint made with walnut oil. So that's, that's a really actually great line of paint. Now for texture, if you like impasto, we have um, liquid impasto. So that's still gonna speed up the process of your paint, but it's gonna add some great thick texture to it. There's also Sennelier's impasto medium and Neomeglip from Gamblin. All these are just gonna thicken up your paint a little bit. We also have cold wax medium that will thicken it and make it more matte. All the other mediums are gonna give it a little bit of gloss. Um, the cold wax medium you can also use as a varnish, but all of these just do amazing things. There's probably about 30, 40, maybe even 100 more mediums out there for you to choose from. Next time you're at the store, just ask a sales associate or turn the bottles around and just read what they do because you can get some incredible results and just play around, pick out a couple different things and see what it does to your painting.